Here's my review from uh, my Pelican Rebel 100 XP Angler. Uh, there's only one more review on the internet about this particular kayak. Um, I've only used it about twice and I'm an inexperienced kayak fisherman. But uh, for the two times that I've used it, I'll be more than happy to give you my opinion about this particular kayak and uh, why I honestly think it's your best bang for your buck. Now first off, obviously I bought this particular kayak for this chair. Without this chair right here, I don't think that I would have been able to sit in it for the amount of time that I've already sat in it. I've been in it about four and a half hours and I've come back with, with no problems. I wasn't hurting. I think that these chairs right here are very, very, very important when it comes to kayaking. Just because you're sitting in them for about so long that you don't want your butt to hurt you don't want your back to hurt you don't want to be uncomfortable in any kind of way shape or form so uh, to me having this seat right here is, was very very important in the choice of the kayak that i bought um another thing that i like about this kayak and I, a lot of people don't like these uh foot rests that are already uh pre-molded in i guess you call it but i use the, the i'm short i'm only five six so i use only the first two but you know, when I'm resting or whatever, I put my feet on the on the on the top ones, and and it gives me a little bit more rest than having to be moving on a, a foot rest that are are how you call it um adjustable. And uh, another thing that I like about this kayak is that it has these uh, these handles already on it, just in case you flip over. It's an easy way for you to flip your your kayak back. And also, I tie all my stuff is tied down with carabiners and. Uh, and the paracord so I, I usually tie my carabiner one big carabiner to that handle and i tie everything else to it and it works out perfectly for me another thing that i liked about this kayak is that obviously it's got two mode two uh, rod holders in it and uh, i do use them and I, it's very easy to reach around to grab the rods that are right there um, i do want to say that the kayak for me is is very very stable very very stable um, another thing that I like about this kayak that I found out the other day when I was using it was that for your for your fit for your fishing box it's a space for it right there and that's usually where I put it and obviously I I tie my carabiner line on my box just in case and uh, so another thing that this kayak has that I like, which I haven't done anything with yet, are these rails. I would like to to put a, a how you say, a rod holder in one, and later on, obviously, hopefully, uh, a fish finder on the other one. Um, well, and uh, it, it is a very basic kayak. It is a very stable kayak, and I think for the four hundred dollars that I paid for it from Dunham's was a. a, a it was a good choice in kayak. I like it so far. Um, it tracks good. It's very easy for me to turn it around. Uh, I've I've already gone around pretty pretty big lakes and I've gotten back not tired at all. And uh, I think uh, for the for the four hundred dollars that Dunham sells this, I did get it with um, I did get it with coupons. It, it is a kayak that's four hundred and fifty dollars. I think the normal price, but I got uh, with a coupon in Dunham's. I waited. And they, uh, they they gave me this kayak here for four hundred dollars with my coupon. And uh, the day I bought it, I also purchased it with uh, with this Pelican Angler uh, paddle. It's got the it's got the it's got a, a a measuring tape so you can measure your fish in the back of it. I put a, a carabiner on it with some line that might bother some people but it doesn't really bother me it's to me peace of mind just in case remember I am an inexperienced kayak fisherman and uh, to me accidents happen in a second so you know always be prepared always be prepared for for an accident and uh, another little thing that I wanted to say that I really like I know some people some people don't like these here but man it's easy it's easy for me and my my girlfriend to get this thing in and out of the water i mean i try to keep it as basic as possible just in case you know something were to happen i don't lose a bunch of stuff and it's also be easier for you to flip over your kayak but uh 
like I said, I'm a minimalist when it comes to to things like this, and I think the less the better. When you start getting too complicated, having racks in the back and a hundred rods that you probably don't even use, God forbid you flip, you're gonna lose a decent amount of money in uh in gear. And uh, like I said, overall, look, this kayak for me for the money, it is as perfect. Um, if you want my opinion as where to get a good kayak for a good price. I'm not sponsored by Dunham's. They're not giving me anything for this. I'm just telling you my honest opinion out of all the places that I went and looked at kayaks. Dunham's was the best priced with uh, with the better kayaks. So, you know, just a little peace of mind. You know, if you're looking at this particular kayak, man, it's stable. I like it. It's got drain holes. It drains real easy, you know. Uh, and I've already been in, in inches of water and this thing just to me it's perfect and for four hundred dollars that seat right there you can't go wrong so i hope you like my first review of the pelican rebel the xp 100 angler and uh, thank you for joining in ladies and gentlemen have a good one